What's up guys, Kelly Burke here, I'll at you again. Look, I wanna tell you something, man. Do not get comfortable. Don't get comfortable. I am making major changes in my life right now to ensure the fact that I get out of my comfort zone. So as people know, I'm closing my gym down. I'm getting back on stage and competing. I'm starting a new business. We'll talk about that later. But I'm doing all these things so that I stay out of the comfort zone. Why? Because comfort is the killer of success. And if you want to be successful in anything in your life, then you must get uncomfortable. Because when you change something in your life, number one, it makes you better. But number two, it hurts. The growing pains that you're going to go through. And those growing pains are where you truly find your success. But what happens in life is we get comfortable going through the same thing over and over, doing the same mundane ideas and the same mundane routines. And I hate it. I hate it when I get like that, I have to do something to disrupt my life. So I'm doing things right now to disrupt my life by changing it up on purpose so that I can get uncomfortable because I know there's another level in me that I'm not achieving. I know there's another level in me that I haven't reached. I know there's another level in me that I haven't went to. And the older I get, the more important it is for me to continue to strive for greatness and to go to the next level. I'm not afraid of failing. I'm not afraid of starting over. I'm not afraid of rebuilding. I'm not afraid of losing people. I'm not afraid of someone doubting my abilities or doubting what I can do because I know adversity only builds triumph. So I have to go through these things and I need the doubt, I need the hate. I need people not to understand what's going on with me or make it seem like I don't know what I got going on. That's fine, I need all of that because there's beauty in chaos. The more chaotic that you put your life into this whirlwind of chaos, eventually when you come out of that whirlwind, it's smooth selling, but you gotta go through it. Everything that I've started in my life has been chaotic. Everything that I've started in my life has been dramatic. Everything that I've started in my life has been difficult because things are hard to start. It's very hard to start stuff. And I'll top that off. It's very hard to continue on the journey to continue to climb the ladder in whatever you do start. So I've started so many things and I've touched so many things that worked and have made me feel comfortable. You hear me? I hate feeling comfortable. I have to get uncomfortable, guys. That's why I'm getting back on stage. I have to get uncomfortable. That's why I'm selling the gym and closing down. I have to get uncomfortable. That's why I'm starting a new business and going into a new venture because comfort will kill you. So I don't want to feel comfortable. I need to get uncomfortable in order to find the next level of success. And this is what life is all about, man. You must achieve everything that's inside of you. God didn't put all this stuff in you and all these great ideas and all these things that you think about for you just to sit on them. He put them in, in you for you to do them. Men conquer, men build, men create, men think, men dream, men explore. Men are adventurous. And when you aren't doing these things, are you truly walking in your true God-given role and potential? I would argue and say no. So I wanna make sure that I fully live my life to the fullest. We just have a quote from KRB. Live your life to the fullest. We had it written out in French. Because I truly believe that every day should be lived out to the fullest of your capabilities and the possibilities that are inside of you. And if you aren't doing that, shame on you. You are failing at life. No, you're not failing at life. But there's something in you that you're gonna miss. And I don't wanna miss it. I'm not gonna sit down on my porch at 78 years old and tell my grandkids, I wish I would have done this. I'm going to do it all. So that means a little setbacks. That means a little difficulty. That means a little pain, a little frustration in figuring out new things. That's fine. I'll go through that. But what I will not do is sit stagnant and never achieve or reach my full potential because I was afraid to fail and afraid to start over. Don't be afraid to start over. Get uncomfortable, guys. Go out there and be great. I'm telling you. Kelly Burke, take it from me. A guy that's not afraid to start over. Start over, rebuild, regroup, do something different, and challenge yourself because you only have one life. So what are you going to do with the one life that God has given you to live? I'm out. Be blessed.